Hi, this is Dana of Days Crochet, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to make a soap sack. This soap sack is pretty easy. I'd say it's beginner level. It's really cute. You can fit a bar of soap down there that's average size, I'd say. This is a handmade bar of soap that my friend made me. But as you can see, it would double as a washcloth and a soap sack and then you can hang it in the shower when you're finished using it. And it's completely washable. So this particular soap sack will measure approximately five inches by three inches when we're done. And I'm going to be using Lion Brand's Comfy Cotton Blend. It is a 50-50, 50% cotton, 50% polyester blend. And the reason that I use this is because I feel like it doesn't shrink quite as much and it's still pretty sturdy. It's not 100% cotton, but it's a good quality cotton and um, it, it washes well. And this is my best seller. It's called Flower Garden. Everybody really likes this. So to begin, you are also going to need an H hook, which is a five millimeter hook. You're gonna need a yarn needle and a regular sewing needle. You're going to need scissors, of course. And I also use this clear nylon thread, and this is what I use to sew the ends down at the end because this will be washed frequently and I don't want the ends to go anywhere. So to begin, you're going to make a slip knot. And we're going to chain 12. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. We are going to put two double crochet in the third chain from your hook. One and two. And now we're going to put one double crochet in the what I call the backbone of each chain stitch to the end. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, and eight. And here I'm at the last chain that was made, technically the first. And I'm going to put four double crochet in this last backbone. One, two, three and four. And now I'm going to start working along the opposite side of the chain. I'm not going to put any more in this first one because technically I already did. So I'm going to put one double crochet all the way across until I get to where we started on this round. I'm crocheting over the top of my tail so that I can hide it in later and also so that I can cinch that a little bit tighter. So I'm going to pull on it and that'll kind of close the gap there. Okay, so here I am at the beginning chain. And I've got those two double crochet in there. And that beginning chain that we skipped is not going to count as a stitch. I sort of use it to fill in the holes. So I'm gonna put two more double crochet in that beginning chain stitch. And I'm gonna skip over the chain two and slip stitch into that double crochet that we started with. So it should have an oval appearance. And now we're going to round two. 
And this is actually going to be rounds two through eight. This will be the same from here to round eight. We're going to chain two. It does not count as a stitch. And we're going to put one double crochet in that same stitch as our chain and in each cha um, ch stitch around. Which, by the way, you should have 24 double crochet after the end of every round. We're not increasing on this round. We're actually done increasing. We increased on our first round and that's the only time that we increase on this soap sack that I'm making. And if you need to stop and count your stitches, that's perfectly fine. I'm to the end of round two. I'm going to put my last double crochet in this last stitch. That should be 24. And you see how it's already starting to make a bowl, which is perfect. But technically, this is the inside, so I'm gonna flip it. We're going to skip over that beginning chain two and slip stitch into the top and there we have our bottom starting. And this <clears throat> is how you do the rest of the rounds until you are completed with round eight. So I chain two and I did a double crochet in that same stitch. And we're going to do a double crochet in each stitch around. After each round, you will skip over your beginning chain and slip stitch into the top of your first stitch made and you should have 24 double crochet at the end of each round. Remember not to count that beginning chain two. And then once you have completed round eight, we will do the finishing rounds, which will create that hook, or that loop rather, for the hook in the shower so that it can hang up in the shower on a hook. I'm going to stop here and meet you after I have completed round eight of double crochet. All right, so we'll see you then. Okay, you should have eight rounds completed of your soap sacks. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And for round nine, we are going to be chaining one to begin with and now we're going to single crochet in the first nine stitches now since that chain one does not count as a stitch we're going to put a single crochet here two three four five six seven eight and nine. All right, once you've got your nine single crochet, you are going to make a chain three space. So chain three, one, two, three. And we are going to skip the next two double crochet. And we're going to single crochet in the next stitch and the next 10 after that. So you're going to skip two and then do 11 single crochet. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, and now we are going to chain ten. This is going to be the little loop that creates the the hook, so to speak, to where you can hook this on something. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now this time we aren't going to skip any double crochet. 
So we're going to put a single crochet in that next stitch and in the last stitch of the round. Now, for this round, if you want to stop and count, you should have 22 single crochet and you should have one chain three space and one chain 10 space, okay? So now we're going to slip stitch in the top of the first stitch of the round. It should look something like this. This should be your chain 10 loop and this should be your chain three loop, okay? So this is round 10 and this is the final round of your soap sack. You're going to chain one and for this round, we are gonna put a single crochet in the top of each single crochet that we made in this last round. And we're also going to put one single crochet for every chain that you made in the loops. So that'll be single crochet in the first nine stitches. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And you should be to your chain three space. Now you're gonna put three single crochets in that space. One, two, and three. And we're gonna continue on and put a single crochet in the top of the next 11 single crochet. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Now we made ten, a chain ten space here. So you're going to want to put a single crochet for every chain that you made. So that's ten single crochet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now they're gonna be a little bit of a space. You're just gonna pull it, it's not a big deal. So then you have two single crochets left. You're gonna put one single crochet in the top of those last two. And you're going to slip stitch in the top of your first single crochet and fasten off. For this round, you should have approximately 35 single crochet. All right, so like I said, you're gonna kinda tug, tug these single crochet in that chain to where they're more evenly spaced, but it's not a big deal. And so this chain loop here should go through the chain three space to create that hook, that loop to hook. And that's what it should look like. Now what I do, and this is completely optional, but because I sell my items in a boutique shop, I like to give them a boutique product. So I know this is going to be washed a tremendous amount. There's going to be a lot of wear on it. And so I weave in the ends with my yarn needle through um, the bottom piece and the top. And then I take this transparent nylon thread and a, a sewing needle and I actually sew the ends down. And the reason that I do that is because I know when it gets washed, the tails will come out and be visible. And I don't want my customers to think that I do not make a high quality product. If you are just creating this for yourself or your family or to give away, you may not want to take this extra step. Um, but for me, because I sell them, I absolutely sew the ends down so that it holds together, those ends never come out, and they can wash it and wash it and wash it and not have to worry about it looking like it's going to fall apart. So. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. I will say that if you want it to be bigger, like say a Dove a bar of soap is pretty fat. If you wanted to make it bigger, I would simply add more to your beginning chain. Still do the four double crochet on each end so that it creates this nice tube, but you could absolutely add more. The tricky part will be when you get to the top. And basically what I did is I have an equal amount of single crochet between the chain three space and the chain 10 loop. So just keep that in mind. If you add more stitches, 
to keep it centered, you're going to have to do a little math, but it's really easy. I totally just made this up on the fly. I saw some pictures of some others that people were making and I thought, oh, that's easy. So um, I know that if I can do that, certainly you can. So just uh, ask me any questions if you have any, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.